Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Ritika Raj and today we are going to discuss or talk about how to clear JNU entrance examinations. So if you have clicked on this video, I'm assuming you are someone who is an aspirant or someone who is preparing or want to prepare for JNU entrance examinations in the future. And this is for master's category post-graduation in political studies. So a basic difference is in JNU you have political studies rather than political science. So let me introduce myself. I am Ritika Raj. I am a JNU student. I graduated in 2019 from Center of Political Studies in the School of Social Sciences, Jawaharlal Nehru University. So being a JNU student, I think I have a little bit of insider knowledge or you can say an insider's perception of how to crack the examinations. So this is where my part comes in, where I can tell you what to study or what the professors in JNU are looking for in a potential master's you know, candidate or aspirant. So if you want to be if you want to be one of those students who can step up their game and who is not totally out of context do watch these videos because i have like very simple step by step guided information for you guys on how to crack the genuine entrance examinations in political studies so let's get right into it let's start with step number 1 that is books for concepts and clarity so I would just briefly explain this. I'll briefly explain this and then we'll go back and explain this in, in detail. So first of all, what the professors or what the faculty in JNU is looking for is that you have the basic foundation. So what I mean by basic foundation is the basic theories of political science or the basic concepts of political science should be like on your fingertip. So yeah, the first step is of course books. There are books that you have to read. Second, and this is very important guys second is duba honors political science syllabus so they never give you a question which is beyond the scope of syllabus of delhi university's political science syllabus so yeah we'll discuss that further later in the video and the third very important step is text like the original the good old original text from philosophers that is the holy grail okay so these are the three simple steps and let's elaborate more on to this book number one is political theory and introduction which is by rajay bhargava and the publisher is there uh, edition you can buy the latest one so why is this book important is because i was talking about concepts right you cannot get a more simplified book than this it has concepts like equality liberty justice citizenship liberalism state which is very important and in every question paper you will see at least two or three questions from each of these topics do read these books i would suggest because rajiv bhargava what he does is like he compiles different authors like for equality you will have an expert on equality who has written that essay like for citizenship i have i know nevitita menon has written so you know it's very important that you go and study uh, this book second book which is a kind of similar but very different is political ideologies and introduction by andrew Haywood. so yeah uh, on a side note andrew Haywood also has a political uh, theory book but here i have chosen to give you rajiv bhargava because he's more simplified than andrew Haywood political theory so yeah for political theory go for rajiv bhargava for political ideologies since we don't have an indian author which i feel is the best on ideology so i would recommend andrew haywood and this is by macmillan publisher and edition you can take any edition you want so obviously again guys ideology is basic clarity you have to have clarity on individualism or pluralism or liberalism realism marxism i mean you will get questions from these topics one con is that this book is slightly expensive for any reason if you cannot get your hands on this book please do leave a comment below and i will make sure that i can mail you the pdf version of this book all of these books are available on amazon so you can go there and find these books the next book is new horizons of public administration is one of my favorite book guys like this is the basic of public administration by Mohit Bhattacharya. He has outdone himself in this book. It's by Jawahar Publishers. And I remember when I was in DU in graduation, I was totally dependent on this book. 
for my public administration paper so guys you might be thinking why am i focusing more on public administration because if you see jnu paper and jnu question papers from past years they have a lot they have lots and lots of questions from public administration pabad is one of the important subjects when it comes to any entrance examination whether it be a net examination or jrf they give a whole lot of question on max weber uh on e governance theory of organization public private partnership prismatic society new public administration e governance good governance so yeah please get your hands on these books and if you cannot do leave a comment below and i will try to give you a pdf version of it if somehow i'll try to provide a link i have these books with me so i can easily easily make it accessible to you second is do you pa on a syllabus so guys here we are the most important part of this video when you open do you pa on a political science syllabus like you can find this anywhere in do website is easily available to everyone free for public go feel free to download the whole syllabus of delhi university public uh, political science and when you download that they are like you have like 24 papers or something but i don't want you to go through all the 24 papers because it's useless the only papers that you should focus on in the syllabus is here it's given here paper number one understanding political theory paper three political theory concepts and debates paper four political processes in india paper six perspective on public administration paper seven perspective on inter international relations and world history paper 11 and 13 classical and modern political philosophy and lastly paper 12 and 14 indian political thought one and two so yeah guys uh, why i'm i'm specifically hand picking these papers for you or the subjects because these are the only subjects that you get questions from trust me you do not get questions from global politics and cps in central political studies like genu faculty is very specific on which areas they want to focus like you won't get a get a question from i don't know feminist studies like not because they they'd want you to focus on the basics right so these are the basics you'll have like let's start from the beginning like i already told you in the books political theory you will have almost 40 percent of the questions will be from political theory political concepts and debates same political processes in india so i want to talk about political processes and institutions you'll have uh, something on judicial review you might have one or two questions on supreme court or the governor president appointment here and there basic polity indian polity stuff you can do that perspective on public administration like i said read the mohit bhattacharya book you'll be fine paper seven okay this i want to talk about is perspective on international relations and world history okay you this is a very easy topic when it comes to preparing for a genuine entrance examination because you will only have uh, questions on realism maybe you will have some on kenneth walls or some of the early thinkers of realism new liberalism or yeah or you will have marxist perspective of realism feminist perspective of realism so i would suggest just google it wikipedia is the best best place to read about theories on international relations okay the last two is again important guys okay classical and modern political thought i have already covered like if you read political theory and if you read uh, political ideologies from the two books that i have mentioned this is pretty much covered like you will have questions on hobbes rousseau social contract theory you will have questions on uh, john ross veil of ignorance you'll have questions on um, who else who else uh, you will have the modern thinkers most probably so yeah this is pretty much done the last is kind of tricky because they sometimes give question on indian political thought and sometimes do not so do not leave this out just do it like read gandhi read ambedkar read uh, iqbal these days iqbal is in included in the syllabus yeah and some other thinkers like you can read about pandita rambai because she's a very important feminist when it comes to indian political thought so that is it for our do be honest political science syllabus okay again guys if you do not get this uh, syllabus though it is online do leave a comment below and i'll fetch it for you 
okay guys so here we are at the last segment of our video and like i mentioned previously every graduate student of political science should read the original texts of the philosophers that we study and here are four basic texts that you guys should go through or read if you already read it read again for the entrance examination first is obviously john rawls the theory of justice though this is a very essential text for any graduate program but even if you don't have it it's available on the internet go read it and why i emphasize on reading the original text is because when you read the text you get your own original ideas or criticism uh, of that text which cannot be acquired through second hand knowledge of someone else summarizing their work for you so that's why i'm emphasizing that if you want to have an edge in this entrance exam you have to read some of the basic text that is required once you go into your masters you will have to read all the original texts from aristotle to js mill to rawls as well and some of the modern thinkers but then for graduate level i guess these four texts are the basics and you should know about it second is of course social contract theory by hobbes locke and rousseau so all right they have three different books about social contract theory but you can go and read a comparison if you don't want to read the text a comparison would be enough but if you kept your hands on the original text i would urge you to read that because the state of nature that all three of these philosophers talk about are very different and different from each other and in very distinctive features so hobbes talked about a state of nature in which man was uh, short nasty and brutish and then we see uh, locke he talks about natural uh, right natural right being the most essential part of a being and then the natural rights being above the state even state cannot take those your natural rights from you and then rousseau comes about with his theory of general will so i think this is the basic of social contract theory which you should know third is on liberty by john stuart mill the last is uh, two concepts of liberty that is negative and positive liberty by azaya berlin so uh, this text is been very important in entrance examinations i have seen because they give a lot of question about azaya berlin and this text in, even in our post graduation we had to do this again so Uh, all of these four uh, texts are very easily available and if you do not get it again leave a comment down below or i'll already provide a link in the description below and you can uh, easily get your hands on it so guys that's about it uh, i have two important tips to give you guys uh, before before we wrap up this video so one important tip that i want to give you is uh solving previous year questions so now this is a tricky part because for jnu entrance examination you cannot solve previous years question papers except for 2019 because before that we had subjective examination so when i wrote the exam it was subjective now since last year is it's been objective mcq so you don't have many mcq question papers it's just last year's question question papers so i will leave a link below a uh, website which i follow and which i practice for my jrf and it is basic mcq on political science and it's quite good so i'll leave that link below and uh, okay one more thing guys that whatever i have mentioned in this video is just not limited to jnu entrance examination you can use this for hyderabad university you can use this for du jamia for all the masters or post graduate examinations in political science because they do have more or less the same uh, uh syllabus or the same pattern of forming questions when it comes to mcq so yeah do solve these questions do solve model test papers and i'll leave a link below of the website that i follow and practice the questions from second important tip that i want to give you is youtube video okay now this might seem like a shortcut but then let me tell you guys there are some awesome channels on youtube which teaches you about political science which teaches you about the philosophers and in just snippets like in 10 minutes they can summarize the whole uh, ideology of philosophers and there there are some good youtube channels like the school of life which i follow and other uh, political scientists who have the youtube channel so i'll link below some of the youtube channel below and and you can go and 
I'll give you a specific playlist link where when you are done with all the three steps after studying and you want to revise or you want to rough up your knowledge or test your ability you can go and check out these YouTube videos I mean this will give you an edge definitely I do this before any entrance examination and it's quite helpful so these are the two tips that I wanted to give you guys so yeah finally guys thank you for watching my video and before you leave please do subscribe do like and share it with someone who might need it i mean sharing is caring and do leave comments below one subscription from you guys will help me make more of such videos and help me put out more quality refined content so please do subscribe guys and i hope you enjoyed the video and lastly i would like to leave you with this quote but then stay focused and believe in your purpose good luck and do nail the examination Bye-bye.